Thank you. Uh, I will shift uh, to English, if you don't mind. If uh, some of our Bulgarian colleagues uh, cannot understand something, please ask me immediately. Ako nejakoj od bolevskite kolegi nešto iske da popita ili nešto ne je jasno, čustujete slobodno da zadajete vopros, da prekasnete, da dobavite, zašto da ste prodolžili na indijski, kako po tozi način od ena strana ste spestim vreme, od druga strana oficialni tezik na konferencijate in na projekte na bliski tezik. Kaj če, ako nekaj ima zatovnej in nešto ne je jasno, spokojno, kakaj vaproste, možete da izgledate na to tezik. I'm really happy that all of us join here. I can see some of the colleagues from previous events, uh, that are really interested in the digitization as a phenomenon. Uh, because we don't have time, I will be quite short uh, and uh, will try to outline some of the main aspects of the project. Approximately three years ago, uh, we have started uh, to think about uh, what are the tendencies in the digitization. Uh, me personally, as a uh, bibliophile, I have uh, really, uh, I really love books. Uh, I need uh, uh, some of them to di be digitized. Uh, I have interest in the digitization. So, uh, me and uh, SCAS, the association, uh, who is a partner of uh, uh, this project, the Student Computer Arts Society. Uh, this is a modern media association established in 1992. Uh, I could say uh, one of the oldest Bulgarian and on the Balkans uh, association promoting uh, digital media and uh, education and training using modern media. So, uh, Student Computer Arts Society uh, and some of our colleagues from Austria, for example, that will later make a presentation, we have uh, started to think uh, about this tendency in the digitization, uh, producing low-cost devices, low-cost technologies, uh, providing training materials for small libraries, for community centers, that could be established without big funds. Uh, so we have started to think in this direction three, four years ago. Then we have started uh, this project and uh, together with our colleagues uh, from the regional library who also have experience in the digitization from the past projects, we have uh, decided to start up this initiative. And now, three, four years after that, we are happy to see that the, the way we are thinking is the correct one. So nowadays you could notice in Amazon, for example, a number of low-cost devices for digitization below 1,000 euro. Uh, just you could uh, click low-cost digitization scanners in Amazon and you will see a number of devices. But this is the situation from one, two years ago. Let's say five years ago, you could not see them. It was not so clear that this is the way, this is the right direction, and we're happy and proud to say that we really have identified one right direction for the development of digitization facilities and digitization technologies. And a few words about the project. This is innovative project. Uh, for creating digital content. The project aims to provide accessible and innovative training materials for librarians, archivists, small business managers and library, science teachers, how to create local digitization facilities and how to process and store acquired information. This is the website of the project. Maybe together with Kaloyan, we can show the website, let's say, uh, for one minute. Uh, uh, Kaloyan, can you help me after? <coughs> maybe, maybe 
now just to show you, because everybody will find the project results on this website. Everything is free, everything is open access, there are movies, there is a learning management system you could register and go through the different lessons in the learning management system, there is a manual, there is a leaflet, there are other uh, materials. Uh, so uh, a number, uh, there is, a, by the way, a set of uh, digitized materials. Could you go to resources section? In the resources section, you could find uh, uh, movies, uh, archives, uh, go down, please, uh, a bit down, manual, etc., etc. Uh, could we go to the learning management section? Training modules. In the training modules, you could register and enter the learning management system. This is very briefly, I like just to, to outline it. We don't have time to explore the products now. But you could go there, could download there, could practice. This is really, in our opinion, very good resource for the tendencies and uh, innovations in the field of low-cost digitization. Okay. okay, thank you. We have a very, very good partner, as I'm proud also to say. This project uh, has uh, really uh, partners from uh, well-known libraries, universities, organizations. Uh, for example, uh, we have uh, uh, partners from Mafra, which is one of the most beautiful libraries in the world. We really enjoyed uh, being there. Uh, we have our colleagues from uh, the Netherlands, who are association of small libraries, and they have uh, uh, interesting archives, and uh, they implement modern technologies and virtual realities in their archives. Uh, we had uh, the chance to exchange ideas uh, during one previous project with them about digitization of their highs and implementing of artificial intelligence and uh, virtual realities in the archives. We have uh, our colleagues from University of Graz who are uh, very experienced in digitization and especially also in mobile digitization. Uh, and by the way, uh, they, they are producing, together with one uh, company, they are producing uh, mobile digitization devices as well. Uh, here is our organization, uh, SCAS, the Computer Arts Society. We are proud uh, that we have a partner from Italy, Alinari. This is the oldest and the biggest photographic archive in Italy and probably one of the biggest and oldest in the world. So they have a million of photos. Uh, you could follow the history of photography in their archive and museum. And uh, they have, uh, of course, experience in digitization and the restoration of photographs. Uh, our partners uh, from the uh, Vocational uh, School for Photography and Polygraphy. Uh, this is a, a national school incorporating different subjects, but uh, what is interesting also, they have uh, subjects for the libraries, teachers, uh, librarians, uh, they have uh, uh, modern subjects like computer graphics, animation, etc. Our partners uh, from uh, regional library here. Uh, and am I missing somebody? No. Uh, regional library already mentioned. Okay. Okay. Uh, the goals, you could read them. I'm not going to, 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 to scroll uh, detail, in details because uh, they're also on the website. 
But uh, one, one of the main goals, as we mentioned, is to produce training materials for uh, small libraries, uh, community centers, for uh, people who don't have much experience in uh, digitization, and to show them how they could establish low-cost digitization corners. But another goal of the project is uh, to train librarians and uh, also uh, to provide resources and uh, to provide some kind of decentralized model for digitization process. And the results, the project results are an uh, online learning uh, platform. Uh, we just showed the website. A seven short digital movies and handbook. Uh, the online platform, uh, you could experiment it later, but it is a, a typical learning management system. Uh, you could find modules. Modules are structured in the same way, so it's quite easy to follow uh, the same structure. You could enroll the modules. At the end of the modules, there are movies, quizzes, and additional resources. And, uh, of course, uh, it could be used not only for the training, but this LMS could be used also for self-awareness or, or for the assessment of uh, the uh, knowledge and skills of the trainees. And uh, now, now I will pass the floor to my colleague, uh, Karina Ivanova from the Regional Library. She will explain later for the other project projects. 